All right, so we are back with the Hunter Call of the Wild, and right now we are on Parquet in a multiplayer server. So I'll play on here for a little bit. I don't know what all servers I'm going to be going to or different maps I'm going to be going to today, but uh, <clears throat> I just decided to do some multiplayer uh, hunting because I was on Parquet earlier today on multiplayer, and I ended up shooting a level 9 red deer, my first diamond red deer, and it was kind of like an ugly, uh, ugly looking rack because one horn was extremely big and looks really nice and the other one is super small so it's a little weird looking but um i also shot in that same server i shot a diamond axis deer which was only a level four but he was scored bigger than the one that i already have so i put both of them in my trophy lodge and last night while i was playing uh i wasn't recording but i was playing i ended up shooting two very nice pronghorns and i got a clip from them from both of them and i'll have to uh talk over it because I couldn't really talk because my uh I had a lot of background noise going on so I wasn't really able to talk but I was able to record it and I'll just voice over that and I'll go ahead and play those two right now and then we can start this hunt so this was the first pronghorn that we saw and as you can tell it's some sort of albino or leucistic and all I know all I knew at this time was I really wanted to get that thing down because I've never shot a leucistic or a albino uh pronghorn so I was really happy that I ended up seeing this guy, and I wanted to take him out as soon as I could. And he was only a silver, level 70, I meant a scoring 70, and uh, he was a level 3, very, very nice leucistic uh, pronghorn, my very first one. So now let's go look at the other pronghorn that I shot. And this is the second pronghorn that we see. And I kind of lost where he was at. I just barely saw him and so I started recording. But we will find him here in a second. He was not any sort of rare. He was just an absolute giant. And I'm looking around trying to find him right now. I could not, I did not see where he got off to. Until... Okay, actually, it took me a little bit to find him. I thought I'd already seen him by now. But there he is right there. A level 4, 81 to 96. Very nice uh, pronghorn. And his uh, one of his horns is actually not as big as the other one. And it's kind of hard to tell right now. Well, it's actually kind of easy to tell. But you can tell a lot better whenever we get into uh, the harvest menu. And I don't know why I didn't take that shot. I guess it was just a little bit of a bad shot. Probably could have got a lung in there. But he ended up spooking. And I know he turns up broadside right up here. And I ended up taking him out. But yeah, you can see a lot better that that right horn is a absolute giant horn. And that one on the left is just not as big. But I think he turns broadside right up here. And I take the shot on him. Yeah, right there. He's now broadside. And we got a perfect shot on him. Ended up dropping him. So let's go see what this guy scores. And this guy ended up scoring a 94.3, which was a very nice score. Fortunately, he does not score a diamond, but I think if that right horn was just a little bit taller, and just like that one on the left, uh, he definitely would have been a diamond. And as you can tell, he is just very uneven, which kind of looks a little weird, but still a very nice pronghorn. So yeah, as you can see, those pronghorn were really nice. I had that one really nice male, and that was my actual... I'm pretty sure I said it in the clip. I'm not too sure if I said it there yet, because I haven't really recorded that yet. But that was my first leucistic uh, pronghorn. My first male leucistic pronghorn. I haven't shot any leucistic, but the fact that that was a male is actually very cool. But now we are on Parquet Fernando to see what all we can find. And I'm hoping to find some more Axis Deer or Black Buck. But right now, or actually it is, I think it's about to be Black Buck drink time. I'm pretty sure they start at 10. Or maybe they start at 9. I'm not too sure. But I know for a fact that they drink at 10. So I'll go to some Black Buck zones at around 10 to see if I can find anything. This guy actually left the session. So that's actually perfect for me. I'm going to go over here and change the time for Axis Deer. And hunt some Axis Deer now since he left. So yeah, there's just like not any access deer that I would like to shoot. So I'll go check a few more lakes and uh, see if there's any trophies out there. 
Wow. That is a ginormous water buffalo that I just saw trying to hunt out here for axis deer. We'll try right over there. It looks like that actually might be a pretty decent axis deer right there. He is a level 4 to 211. That actually might also be a very good axis deer up here. So I actually finally found a big herd of axis deer. And uh, this lake is right here on the map. It's a pretty good lake. But uh, I'll see if any of these, if I can see any like giant ones. But I think I actually might go for those water buffalo first at level 8. But I don't know where they're going to be going. Or if they're drinking right now. Okay, so it looks like they're actually going right there. So let me go ahead and get my gun out. And hopefully I can make a good shot on that level 8. Which is right there. Let's see if I hit that good. I did. I got him. Pim. I'm surprised I hunted these guys without getting attacked. Oh my gosh. He actually made diamond. Wow. I had no idea that he was even going to have a chance to make diamond. I'm so glad I decided to shoot this guy. Uh, I did not really know that level 8s were able to make diamond. That is actually super cool that that just happened. So we got some axis deer that ran by here, and I just picked up this track right here, a piebald axis deer, and it is a male, so that's very nice. We're going to go and try to figure out where he is at and figure out where his drink zone is so we can actually kill this guy because that would be very neat to find a piebald axis deer that's a male because I see quite a bit of female and not too much male, but I still do see pretty a pretty decent amount of males. So it looks like he does actually drink at this drink zone down here, so. Looks like that, that might be, no, that's mule deer. I don't know where he's going to be at right now. But uh, we will be on the lookout for him. There he is, actually. Let's get a shot on him. Let's see if that was a pretty good hit. It was, oh, actually, I might have hit vertebrae because he is losing health, but not as fast as I would want him to be. But yeah, more about New Mexico. That just kind of happened to happen right as I was talking about it. I will be going out there. I'll try to record. We will be trout fishing. And I hope we, I hope it's going to be a little bit better than it was last time I went out there. Because last time we went out there, it was a little bit after COVID had started. Or it was actually like maybe a year after or no. No, because it started in 2020. So, yeah, it was just a little bit after COVID had started. And so we weren't even allowed to fish at, like, these certain lakes. There's only, like, one little place that we found that we were actually allowed to fish at since we weren't from New Mexico, which I thought was a little weird. But uh, we will be going out there, and hopefully we can get some good trout out there. I'll at least make pictures and put them, I guess, in a video if I remember to, or if I do take pictures of them. And uh, I really want to record record some trout fishing videos because I do love to fish so I will try my hardest to get some videos out out there but I'm not going to be able to guarantee anything I'm going to have to find my GoPro make sure everything's working with it and uh, I guess we'll try to record while we're out there but now we're going to go pick up this axis deer that is dead right here and we ended up getting a non-vital organ hit which kind of sucks because we won't get the full score out of him but he's not going to be a giant one anyways He's only a 148, so he's just a, he would have just been a silver anyways. But this is still a very nice looking trophy. This piebald axis deer looks super nice, but I ended, I actually do have a bigger one in my lodge, so I'm not going to trophy, or I'm not going to tax him my sound. Wow. That is a ginormous axis deer. I've never shot a level 5 axis deer. I've only shot a few level 4 that made diamond. But that is actually maybe the biggest axis deer I've ever shot. I really hope that it's going to be. And I think right now my highest is a 233 maybe. I'm not too sure. I think it's around a 230 though. But we are definitely going to go over there and take that guy out. That was just, that is insane. This map is just loaded with diamonds and rares. I'm going to go and go crouch and pull out our gun and hopefully get a good shot on him. That is just a absolute giant axis deer. I'm going to make sure I take a broad, uh, broadside shot on him. I do not want to mess this up. Oh, 
That's not good. Okay, so I ended up missing, which I'm not mad about because he started turning as soon as I shot. So if I would have hit that nine times out of ten, that would have been a bad shot. So I'm not too mad that I missed that. I'll just have to wait for him to come back. I'm going to get to where he was standing at, and I should be able to see him coming back. Hopefully I can get a good shot on him. I think that's him. Yeah, that is him way out there. But I am very glad that we actually found him. So we're going to go and crouch up until we get about 150 out. Because I don't want to take too far of a shot on him so he... Uh, I don't want to take too far of a shot so he goes out of render. Because if he does, I will in fact not be able to pick him up. I don't know why he's not coming back. He should be coming back here to drink. So this is still his drinking time. And if he ever goes broadside, I will take this shot because he's about 180 out. So I'm going to go and keep my gun out. Maybe I can make him go alert and he'll turn his head. So he is going broadside, but of course it is right behind a little mountain or a little hill to where I cannot see him. But it looks like he's about to go down in this valley, which is going to help me out a lot. Because he's right, he's right there. It's actually not going to help me out as much as I thought. That looked to be a pretty good hit. And he is losing health very fast. I really hope that was long and not spine. But it looks like we hit him pretty good. This guy is just very nice. And he does make diamond at 223. Which is not my biggest one. But I still am going to taxonomize this. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a place for him. And I can't even fit his antler. I kind of can't like that. That is a very, very nice axis deer. Mmm. We had a level 8... Wait, what is that? Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. We got two level eights just sitting right next to each other. I don't know which one of those was a level nine because I don't think they have a chance of making diamond at level eight. Unless it's like extremely rare, but that guy's actually giving me a really good shot. So we're definitely going to take that guy out. And that is not the right gun. Neither is that. It took me like four tries, but I finally got the right gun out. So we will take a shot at, try to get both of them. I don't know if that's going to happen though. So yeah, it's definitely not going to work. We're not going to get both of them. Maybe if I get over there, I can get another shot on him. And that one is dead, so he hit him really good. It's actually a red yet. thing is... I think that's that level 7. I don't know how that's not a level 9. That is actually a level 8. I thought it was that 7 that we saw earlier. We are definitely going to try to get a shot on him. They just stand it up. They stood up. They didn't even go alert. But he will give me a shot that I think I can catch a lung on. And I actually did. Those are pretty risky shots because it is very hard to just clip the lung right there. But luckily I did end up getting that. But yeah, this looks... That is a very nice uh, antler shape. I really like the way that these look. That's 213 and he's not even close to diamond. And that is like hard to believe with antlers like this. That is a very big red deer. I wish I could get one that looks like that as a diamond now. Now we're going to fast travel to here and check that very good black buck lake. And then we will go check for some water buffalo and mule deer. Because I know there is mule deer where I go to check for water buffalo. So yeah, here are all the black buck. There's quite a few. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. Wow. I was just trying to, I think he just showed up here and was about to look at these black buck and I just noticed that I saw something giant. And it was a giant level four, or level five actually. <clears throat> Let's hope that we don't mess this up like I did in the last level five that I saw, or the second to last. If you would actually stand broadside, I would definitely take that shot. Not right there though, because I would probably end up hitting the tree's hitbox and not him. But if you wanted to just go broadside, that'd be really, really nice. That is a that is a really nice uh, black buck. If we just turn a little bit. Actually, I think I can get that. And I did end up dropping him, so it looks like I did get him. I was literally just about to just show all the black buck around here because there is a ton of them down there as well. And the ones to our left. And I just ended up seeing that, so I kind of had to stop and shoot him. That is a really nice looking one. I actually might taxonomize this guy. 
He is a 135. Oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I just hit that to drop it. Oh my gosh, I just got the luckiest card shot of my life. I was most likely about to die there. Luckily, I uh, ended up getting that hard shot, though, to kill it. I'm very glad that my dog will make that sort of bark whenever I'm about to get attacked by something. Because that helps me out quite a bit. I'll just be, like, walking around, and then I'll hear him bark, and I'll make sure to be looking everywhere to see what's trying to kill me. Oh, oh no. Is there more than one? I need to get out of this thick stuff. This is not good. Jeez, I can't see. This is not really the best. Let me go. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Die, please. Oh my gosh. That thing, I turned around and that thing was like 10 feet away from me. That actually scared me pretty bad. That was pretty scary. I definitely thought I was going to die there. We hit him four times. I actually really like this fur type though. Oh no, that's not good. At least for the uh, heads up, dog. Please die. Please. Oh my gosh. This is uh, some of the most scariest uh, chases I've had. I don't know how I'm alive. I got that lucky hard shot there. Hopefully that's the only two. Hopefully there will be no more. That is another level 8 mythical uh, water buffalo. So we will definitely go and take that guy out. Hopefully not the way. Hopefully not in the same way that uh, these last two have been taken out. Hopefully I can just kind of shoot him from a pretty good distance because I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get him to run up on me and try to kill me. But honestly, he's standing in a pretty good spot. I think I can uh, get a long shot on him from there, or from how he's standing. Let's see if I can. Maybe a little high, trying to get both of them. Where did he go? Is that him right there? Yeah, that's him. And it looks like we actually did end up catching a lump. So let's hurry up and pick this guy up so I don't really die. And this one was only a gold at a level 8. Not that bad of a gold, though. But I still don't know how I got that level 8 to score a diamond. That was actually very nice. So we're in my lodge. I don't really know where I'm going to put the... Um, don't really know where I'm going to put the uh, water buffalo yet, but I do know... I might put the axis deer right here. Don't think he's really bigger than that axis deer. Let's see, this one's a this one's a two thirty two, so yeah, he's not bigger than that, so I'll have to find somewhere else to put him. So that's a one thirty eight. So I guess that wasn't a max score. And that one is a one thirty four, but he is barely just bigger than that guy. So we will take that guy out and put him in right there. So yeah, he will go right there and I'll go see if I can find a Spot for the axis deer and maybe put that uh, black black buck that I just took out from up there and put him somewhere else. I think it can go right in here. I think this will be a pretty good area for them. This so guy can go right here. Put him like that and I'll put the black buck on the other side. But I want to go show y'all one thing that I did in my lodge which I think is really cool. And uh, I also want to show off this absolute giant elk right there. Probably my biggest one I ever shot. But uh, I really did not know that there's these little buildings in here, or these little rooms in here that you can put, like, fill them up with trophies. So I put this turkey right here, and it's down the hall of these elk, just so you can know that it's a uh, part for Silver Ridge Peaks. Because I only have Silver Ridge Peaks animal in here, or animals in here, and I think it looks very nice. So you got my light brown hen, a piebald, uh, piebald mule deer, a diamond mountain goat, a dilute mule deer, Two very nice, or actually three, four. I did not realize I put four pronghorn in here, but four very nice pronghorn and some diamond turkeys and my leucistic uh, pronghorn that I actually shot earlier today. Or earlier, or it was actually yesterday, but it should be in this video. And that's actually the uh, pronghorn, that I, the other pronghorn that I shot. So 
I kind of needed to go in here anyways. I almost forgot about that. Luckily, I accidentally went in here. That's all I have for today. And I will see you guys either probably in a few days. I think my next video, or not my next video, but the video after that will be on the new map. So we will see you all then. And uh, thank you guys for watching.